video getting ready to head out now um just packing up the truck i am taking the tundra today um running a little bit late i woke up and for whatever reason my battery pack the pack round unit uh was at zero percent do not know why i leave it on charge the whole time so that's kind of weird but i'm charging it now uh it's been charging for almost the last hour and it charges at like a thousand watts so uh it's almost a 90 percent. so once it gets to 90 percent um We'll go ahead and pack it up and pack the fridge in here and then head on out. Um, 90 percent should be enough. It's pretty gonna be pretty cool this weekend so 90 percent should be enough to to keep the fridge going and I'm not really powering anything heavy off of it. Um, I'm not bringing a diesel heater or anything like that on this trip but I will definitely show you guys the setup and we'll get back to you once we are on the road. All right so we're finally on the road. Uh, I'm gonna go kind of explore an area that I kind of go to a lot it's the max pot area again but different section of it uh, part that I haven't been to uh, it's probably mainly just kind of just like forest gravel roads which is all I want for the tundra today I just really want to just test its kind of reliability not really capability yet um, just make sure everything works good I need to run the four-wheel drive I have turned it on I've run it like kind of around my streets and stuff like that um of course not turning and stuff like that just kind of engage it make sure everything engaged and it and it did so four four wheel drive four low did um but we're gonna test it out today and actually put it through kind of like its paces and let it run through the diffs and all that stuff because it probably hasn't been run in a while so yeah we're just gonna kind of explore we're gonna find hopefully a place to camp in this new area if not it's not too far away from that last camp spot i, I camped out at the on my last video uh next to the river so worst comes to worst i can probably go head over to that area and find a camp spot but first time i'm going to be camping in the tundra with the camper setup so should be pretty cool i'll definitely show you guys the setup and let me tell you this thing is freaking comfortable i'm not sure if you can hear or not tires are a little bit loud um these Kendas, I really love the way they look and all that stuff. They are pretty aggressive for like the hybrid style tire, but they are kind of loud. So right now at 70, they kind of actually quiet down around, around 70, but anywhere from like 45 to 60, they kind of, they howl pretty good. So um, that's the only thing I could probably complain about right now. Other than that, the truck drives amazing. It's been super reliable. I've been nailing it pretty much all the time. The Jeep's been just been sitting in the garage. So after this trip, if everything goes good, I think I may just list the Jeep for sale. Uh, it'd be nice to kind of get out of that payment if possible and just run the Tundra for a while. No payments, stuff like that. And the setup is, should be like pretty sufficient for my weekend trips and stuff like that. So definitely get back to you guys once we get kind of off the main road here and onto some trails. Alright guys, so here's my exit, Harmon Den. That's the area I'm going to be in. If you're in kind of East Tennessee, Western North Carolina area, you may be, uh, you may be uh, familiar with this area. Uh, basically, it comes down to this stop sign here. And if you go left, you head up towards Max Patch area, which is the area I'm going to kind of go in. But again, I'm going to do another. And if you go right, that takes you on to what a lot of people call the Goat Trail. Um, so you can pick up the Goat Trail out there. And then I believe you can even pick up like Hurricane Creek from part of the trails out here. But yep, finally about to get off the road and get into some gravel. So I'm pretty excited. All right, let's go ahead and put this thing in four-wheel drive let's pull up a little bit and see okay i just heard it lock into four-wheel drive so we're on four-wheel drive and it turns the vsc off so traction control cool so it's activated so i'm just starting on the trail here run it through its four-wheel drive paces for now Turn off the trail. 
usually I continue on this way, going up the mountain. This is gonna be the new way. But I literally stopped right in the beginning because it's got some pretty good mud pits coming through here. I already kind of walked them and it seems like it's all hard bottom, so I think I'll be okay. In the Jeep, I wouldn't have even stopped. I would have just kept rolling on through as a winch. It's got lockers, front and rear, all that stuff, no problem, 37s. This thing, I definitely got to question a little bit more before I just start taking on new trails. But we're gonna push on here and we'll see what happens. So far so good guys, the Tundra's handling everything super well. I'm gonna knock on this fake wood grain I got in here, but so far it's doing good. Full wheel drive's working great. Suspension is doing amazing. Um, these Bilstein 6112s that I have in the front and the 5160s in the rear are working really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. Um, not a sound, not a squeak out of the suspension, which is amazing. Um, the ATS HD leaf springs I have in the back, um, they say they're HD, but they ride pretty plush actually. Um, it's supporting all the weight I have in there with all the camping gear, no problem. And it's flexing, feels like pretty well over these little ruts and, and holes and stuff like that that's out here. So, so far so good, super happy with the truck. On the map, this is the first campsite that it says is out here in this area, which is marked. And it's pretty nice, so it's a nice little area here. I had to back all the way down it. But this is definitely a nice little campsite. It's got a fire pit. A little bit of trash in there, not too bad though. But a big area here, so like if you want to set up tents or something like that, you can definitely do that here. And it does run down into a little stream here, which is cool.
nice and secluded. It is kind of right off the main road. That main road is kind of right there above where the truck is at, but that's okay. Oh, I got even got like a lantern holder. Pretty cool. And it goes a little further back, but not really much. Nothing back there. We got someone running down the trail right now. But yeah, camp spot number one. This is definitely a nice, nice area. This is pretty cool. It is still pretty early. So it is about 2.45. So I think I'm going to keep going and check out the other camp spots. Uh, but definitely wouldn't mind coming back to this one. So again, this is a look at the map. This is kind of where, so again, Martha Sunquist State Forest. And um, again, I'm right at the first campsite. Sorry, it's kind of blurry, but you can see all down this road, there's a bunch more. And even as you go kind of further up, going up the trail, there's more. So we're going to check out some more campsites and we'll see where we actually stay for tonight. All right, so this is like, like 100 feet from the other one that I was just at. We kind of just stop real quick. This is the next campsite. They are numbered actually, so this is number five. I didn't see what number the other one was, but this was kind of directly off the main trail. So kind of like a last resort camp spot kind of, but still pretty nice. They got a fire ring. Somebody built like an actual log bench here. They got a little table, um, but nice if you had a group, cause it's definitely a big area and you can fit a few rigs in here and it is going right along the river also here. It's actually a little bridge we're gonna cross over as we keep going. So a little stream here. But not bad, definitely a cool area. A lot of campsites so far. Big campsite out here, but there's a bunch of people in here, but they got campers and everything set up. So that's pretty cool. That's a big, big one. That's, that's an awesome little thing if you have a, a bunch of people. I'm crossing the river again here. Out of the Martha Sunquist uh, State Forest so I'm not sure it's three o'clock now I'm not sure if I want to stay anywhere there I'm back kind of like on the main road out here again um, so I'm not sure if I want to stay at, at first camp spot the other camp spots I also pretty much they were all kind of taking the rest of them um, but that first one was pretty nice but it is still kind of early um, I can head over to Paint Creek they have a Pink Creek campground and it's open, but I want to say this is the last weekend if it's not closed already. Uh, but it is an actual campground, but they don't have like uh, utilities or nothing like that. So uh, they may have a porta potty, but they don't have electric or nothing like that. But it is like an actual established campground. Uh, but it is a pretty good ways away. But if I go there, then that puts me into the area that I was in last time. So if that camp spot or campsite or campground is not open, then um, I can always try and find camping in that same area that I was at. So I think I'm gonna do that because it does get dark early now, so like around seven, but being that it's only three, if I can get established camp spot and stuff like that where I wanna be at around five, I think that'd be perfect. So I think I'm gonna continue on and head that way. All right, so I drove all the way to the Paint Creek campground and this is what I thought. I think it literally just closed this weekend, which is crazy because like I passed this campground before and it looks like a nice campground, but like they close it way too early in the season. I don't know why. Um, so it's about 430 now. So I'm going to head back towards the Weaver's Bend, that area that I camped in on the last trip. 
and we'll look and see if any of those camp spots are available. All right, guys, we made it to camp. I was kind of getting nervous because basically I was out just driving around all day, which is cool. This is what I wanted to do is just basically explore a bunch of new areas and trails and stuff like that. Um, I went to that Pink Creek campground to see if I could camp there. But again, it's close to the season already, which is crazy because we're just now getting into like the perfect time to go camping. Um, but basically I'm in the same Weaver's Bend area that I camped in the last video. I'm at the actual exact same camp spot right here in the river i'll show you um i wanted to camp at a different camp spot in this area but literally they're all taken up so this is one that kind of goes all the way to the very end of where i think all the camp spots are and just surprised nobody's here because this one is one of the good ones here um but i'm basically gonna get set up and probably start cooking dinner it's 5 15 already it's right at the time i wanted to be at camp uh but I didn't have any lunch today, so I am starving. So I'm probably gonna start cooking dinner early, uh, but I'm gonna give you a walk around camp here real quick. So we got the truck here. Set up, it's level. And this is the same area that I was chopping wood in the last video, but for some reason, somebody had to go ahead and destroy the fire pit. So I'm gonna try and get this thing back together kind of a little bit, so I'm gonna have a fire tonight. But again, this spot is right on the river, which is always nice. There are a lot of these little mats around right now that weren't here last time, which is weird because it's colder than it was last time. But I'm gonna start getting camp pretty much set up, which again, it's not much to set up, but Start pulling some stuff out so I can do some cooking. Let me kind of show you what's going on in here. So first of all, I bought one of these little cam adjustment like strap thingies because I think whoever had the camper before, they added new struts to it, I believe, because they're pretty strong and they look brand new, uh, but it basically expands too high up. So I kind of wanted to have this thing set as like an overhang. So right now, the way I have it with that, I can walk under it and it also kind of creates a little shelter. And then in here, I basically have nothing tied down. Um, nothing really moves too much. My battery pack moves a little bit. Uh, we're at 80%, that's not bad. Again, I started it with 90 because for whatever reason it wasn't charged this morning. I have these lights and basically they were double-sided tape and they were holding onto the carpet fine. Like that one there, actually still there. But when I was driving, I heard a couple bangs. I was like, what is that? and the lights were falling down so i gotta remount these and maybe use some velcro or just take off the actual lights because i think just the weight of the light on top of that is what's pulling down while i'm driving going through bumpy trails and stuff like that uh, i do have some reflectix in the front that i'm going to go ahead and probably put up all around to get that ready and then basically under the bed i got a bunch of storage eventually if I'm going to keep this setup, which I'm highly thinking I am now because this thing has performed awesome today. Um, eventually, I want to make an actual drawer system here. 
probably almost full length of the bed and I could store a whole bunch of stuff in there and basically just kind of get rid of these extra bins and stuff like that. I got this extra bin back there that I had for my four wheel camper, but I never could find a spot for it. Fits in here great. And I got just a bunch of random stuff in there right now that just doesn't need to be accessed right away. But I think tomorrow morning I'll do a full walk around video of the actual truck with suspension and everything that's kind of done with it. And I'll put that into like a separate video. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up and then get to cooking. All right, so tonight I'm gonna have some steak. We got a ribeye here, um, so pre-made already loaded mashed potatoes. You just basically put it in the pan and heat it up. Just went the lazy route. I know I could have done the fire, put a big potato in there, let it cook, brought all the stuff, sour cream and everything, but lazy. And it's a good thing because it's getting dark quick already. And then I also have um, some onions and some red peppers I'll probably do for the steak also. Put a little olive oil on the top and the bottom and it kind of helps hold the seasoning on. Remember my beer this time. Now that's cooking. We already started the fire. Burning down a little bit here. I think the steak is pretty much done. Get them perfect grill lines. Alright guys, here it is. Got some steak, onions, peppers, and some mashed potatoes. A load of mashed potatoes are actually really, really good. All right, guys, so it's pretty much fully dark now. Fire's kind of dwindling down. I got the light on on my camera, so that's probably why you can see me right now. 
but I think I am going to get ready to head into the truck. Pretty tired, Been driving all day. Um, head in the truck and watch a movie and probably go to sleep. So kind of going to give you a look around in here. It's my first time sleeping in it. So again, I don't have any, everything situated kind of how I want it. But basically, I still got room to put my feet down, which is nice. So I can step in, walk to the front and back. I got my reflectics up on the front and all the sides. And then I brought some extra with me right here because I'm going to do it while I'm here. Um, I'm going to put some on this back window here a little bit and then maybe on these little triangle windows, maybe. But what's nice is, and then that kind of goes in there. Let me kind of show you. These lights are nice because I can magnetic. I can just take them off and put up. But so latch is closed and then it's got a little loop that goes around it so nobody can open it from the outside. And then also down here at the bottom, if you can see, I can reach those little like rubber straps down there and those uh, lock into the side of the bed and that locks this whole door down so nobody can actually lift it up even though it is unlocked from the outside. Not that I'm worried about that out here, but you never know. And I got my lights here and then they're all just push button, rechargeable. Um, they did kind of fall down when I was driving, so I may have to figure out another solution or just keep taking them on and off when I'm out driving and stuff like that. But I got my bed already set up, which is nice. It is a, I kind of probably sh show you guys later because I got the sheet on it now, but it's like a three or four inch, uh, one of those trifold mattresses that you get off of Amazon. It is like memory phone. It is super, super comfortable. What's nice about this truck is that... It has the length, so basically six and a half foot. I fit in here no problem. I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 so my feet will go all the way to the edge and I'm still good to go. This is just like my Tacoma build, but better because, let me flip the camera around here real quick. So it's like the Tacoma build, but better because basically my head is kind of touching the top, but not really, not unless I actually push all the way up, so. I have enough headroom to sit upright, which is amazing in a Tacoma. I couldn't do that. This one, since it has the mid-rise and the bed is probably a little bit deeper since it's the Tundra, gives me perfect amount of room in here. And then width-wise, again, a lot more room in here. When I had the Tacoma, I don't think I could have fit um, a fridge in here and these other boxes and stuff like that and have leg room because basically, because basically the width of the Tacoma was just narrower obviously um so this gives you a lot of room i also wanted to mention so i did also bring the buddy here tonight just in case um temperatures are supposed to be down until like the mid 40s but this thing kind of retains heat really well so i actually have the window cracked behind me i can hear the river to let some airflow through here because it's pretty warm in here actually already but i do want to cut a hole like down here into the door and put like one of those marine circle hatches so I can duct in um, some heat from the diesel heater because I do want to run the diesel heater later on in the year when it gets really really cold out. Um, diesel heater is just way more efficient. Um, you can control it, turn it on and off, run a thermostat, stuff like that. So yeah, getting ready to watch a movie now. All right, morning, y'all. Slept pretty good. Slept pretty late, actually. It's about 9.30 already. Um, this setup is super, super nice. I really like this setup. The bed is super comfortable. 
the whole thing stayed warm the whole night. I used the butt heater one time before I actually went to sleep to kind of heat up the cab. And that was it. It stayed warm and it was into the mid 40s last night. It stayed warm the whole time. Just used a, a sheet and a blanket. So I really, really like this setup. It's super simple. It's super easy to use and set up and take down. I'm definitely going to be doing more trips with this setup for sure. This This thing has really, really surprised me. The truck did great. The camper shell has done great. So pretty excited for more trips than that. Now I'm going to go ahead and set up the cooker again and cook up some breakfast. guys definitely way too much but we got the potatoes sausage eggs and topped it off with some cheese and of course we all know what time it is first monster in the morning mm. All right, breakfast was good. Definitely cooked way too much. I'm not in a rush today. I have a three day weekend. So I'm just kind of taking my time here. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up the truck though. Honestly, it should only take a few minutes cause everything kind of just stays in there and that's it. Um, but I do want to keep going a little bit further down this trail cause it does look like it keeps going a little bit further. And I'm not sure how far or if it leads to any more campsites. Um, a little further down the road so after i pack up we'll go on there and keep going down this road a little bit and see where it leads and then we'll head home All right, so this is where I'm gonna keep kind of going to see where the trail goes out to the left here. That's basically the way back out, back home, but there is another trail that continues on to the right here. So we're gonna kind of go and explore this a little bit and see how much further this goes. All right, so it does just kind of dead end here. The dead ends right at the bridge. Um, you're pretty high up here, but you are kind of right on the river, which is cool. So. There's a little spot back there where the train track is that you can actually like kind of turn around and probably back in here. Uh, they do have a little bit of fire pit here made. So this is pretty, pretty cool actually. So this could be like a last resort kind of camp spot. I'm sure not a lot of people come to this one. But now we know where this trail ends. And there's a little bit of garbage here on the floor, so I'll pick this stuff up before I go. When you cry. I look up only to be able to breathe. We found the shelves at the end. I still don't know if it's right. Who 
wish I was as strong as I claim But I don't even know how to say bye I mean, I Okay, so that other road again, it was just a dead end it led up to the bridge that crosses the river for the railroad track. Um, and then I stopped and got some more drone footage of the other bridge that I shot in the other video. Just a cool looking bridge. Um, now I'm kind of here. There's a camp spot back here. Uh, just checking it out on my way out just to see some other camp spots. Um, pretty nice. Not directly on the river, but still definitely really nice to come and camp at this spot here too. There's a couple more on the way out that I will check out if there's nobody there. But I'm going to kind of end the video here. Uh, I did do a walk around video, full kind of detail of the whole truck setup and everything. So catch that in the next video. And other than that, thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next one.